Okay, this video is on how to find uh, images uh, on the databases. So uh, here are our four databases that I'm steering you to right here, right? This one really doesn't have any on there. This is a virtual reference library, so it's just a collection of books. These here are a collection of books, newspaper articles, videos. It's a whole repository of a different type, all sorts of different types. So all three of these will have images. Okay, so let me just take you, I'm going to take you to World History and Context, and it works the same as Student Resources and Context. I've already typed in uh, Zeus, and you come down here, here are your possible images. Okay, and you want to hit save. Uh, it's being added to my folder, and I don't know where my folder is. So let's go in and figure this out. Click download and save to your Google Drive. That's really what you need to do. That's what I would do. And then you can use it from there. Um, okay, so over here, if I'm in uh, ABC Clio right here, do you remember when you go into ABC Clio, you start at the multi-home product, meaning it's lot, all the different databases. We're gonna focus on ancient and medieval errors. I guess you could go into world religions. Uh, there might be stuff there for pictures, but I, you know, it'd be, it might be a stretch. So start here. And we're just going to type in Zeus. And then over here, if you want photos and illustrations, you click photos and illustrations and you filter it. And I think I should be able to click through this and find photos. There we go. It says click to enlarge. I don't know how large it'll get. And then I try and copy it from here. You could screenshot it if you need to. I think I would hit save and let it save to your uh, Google Drive or, yeah, to your Google Drive. And then that's the best way to get the highest quality image. Um, all righty. So that is um, how to get some um, video, excuse me, some images off the databases. And I think that's all from this section that I wanted to show you.